Hello from HB Gadget Hacks. Uh, today I'm going to do a quick ROM overview on Cyanogen Mod 7, the final release running on a T Mobile uh, G2, also known as the HTC Desire Z or HTC Vision. Uh, first, I want to walk you through just a couple problems I had. When I installed Cyanogen Mod 7 on my phone, it would not sync up my Google account to start with. It froze on the well, not froze. I mean, it continued to work, but it would never sync up to my account. So I had to back out of that, and I had to go into the market and log on that way. I don't know if it's what caused the problem, but when I restored all my apps with Titanium, it didn't restore the market links. I tried rebooting and things, and they still wouldn't come up. So I ran the Market Doctor because I have the full version, the full paid version of a uh, Cyanogen, or excuse me, of uh, titanium backup and after a reboot that worked so if you don't have the paid version be aware of that there are a couple other programs you can run that will help like a track dog which tracks new versions of programs and uh, sometimes uh, use just download a program will fix one sometimes it will fix them all a few different things so if you have that problem there are usually fixes for it not too much to worry about uh, on one side at least when I was trying to play a flash uh, video and you know Adobe Flash, um, it did keep backing out of the video, and I don't know why. It's worked on some. It was just one that I can remember in particular. It worked fine on my computer and my Zoom. Um, may have just been something with the video. I don't know. Besides that, it's been fine. Uh, my benchmark scores are a little lower than they were on my stock ROM overclocked at 1.2, where I have this one at 1.497. Um, but Benchmarks are kind of hit or miss. I mean, they're they're not their numbers are not carved in stone and you know chiseled in stone as they say. Um, so don't pay too much attention to that. It's ran fairly well. My battery life has been great so far uh, with the Wi-Fi on and everything. Um, I mean, just nice. It's snappy. Uh, I cannot find out in uh, the launcher program how to turn back on the 3D app tray, and I kind of miss that. But uh, besides that, uh, nice. I mean, I haven't had any problems. It's been very stable. I've had no force closes or anything besides uh, Quadrant uh, force closed on me twice. But I believe that's a, it's still a gingerbread problem, not a cyanogen mod problem. So I don't want to put that on the ROM. Uh, my original intention was to put this on my phone for a few days and do a review on it or an overview more um, and then take it off. It has been so long since I ran Cyanogen, a full version of Cyanogen on any of my phones. I forgot why I liked Cyanogen so much in the first place. And now I'm back to it. I'm pretty sure this is going to be my daily driver on my phone. Because it's just so nice. There's so many tweakable options in it. I use set CPU to overclock. You don't have to. It's right here in performance. Uh, a warning about dragons there. <laughs> Uh, he has his own CPU governor settings and a lot of different things if you're really into tweaking every little thing about performance on your phone. Uh, you have multiple lock screens. You have uh, different unlock options. Uh, I like the fact that uh, now the trackpad works as a wake button. Uh, I prefer the standard stock Android lock screen also you add you can add the uh, gingerbread shutdown and startup if you want I prefer just the shutdown um, there are a small amount of power widgets in the top bar if you can see those you have a G or excuse me Wi-Fi Bluetooth GPS and your sound whether you want to mute it or not now I do run widgetoid but that's just out of personal preference because I like to be able to change the color and set them up in the exact order that I want but also cyanogens um, he modified the original power widget so it had oops, wrong thing just ignore that my space is on there I don't use it I don't know why it's still on my phone <laughs> but um, the power control widget uh, more options and so I mean it's pretty customizable I just prefer to use uh, widgets or it's just a personal preference um, I have noticed that even with the data on, on the widget toy, the uh, power strip, it still doesn't notice that it's on or off. Like the program doesn't, but my phone does. So I mean, I guess that's something with widget toy, not cyanogen, because the cyanogen power bar works perfectly. 
Uh, of course, you have your standard uh, cyanogen backgrounds, uh, live, his one live wallpaper and his standard backgrounds, which are very nice. He took out a controversial one, and whether you think he should have or not, I mean, it's your opinion. I kind of agree with what he did. It's still available. You can find it for download. But uh, as Cyanogen matures and makes better ROMs and more professional ROMs, truly, um, I can understand the decision to not try to alienate part of your audience, and I respect that. So I hope most people do. Uh, but now around to some other things I like. What I like about Cyanogen is that it takes out the need for some apps like I use Plugin Launcher which allows you to choose what your phone does if you hook up data, power, or your uh, headset. I have it set to turn on my music player and press start. With Cyanogen, it's built in. You don't need that. I use Winamp for music because it has a lock screen replacement that gives you control over your music. But in Cyanogen, it's already on the lock screen and done very nicely. I really like the way it's done. Uh, I missed that about Cyanogen. Uh, there's also features where you can set the camera button to toggle uh, pause and play on the music. Um, I noticed on my old MyTouch 3G, a long press on the volume rocker would change songs up and down. It doesn't do it on my G2. I don't know if it's in the options somewhere. I mean, there's so many options in this thing. It's hard to... I could play with it for a week and not be able to tell you all the options. And uh, let me show you here. It's a... Uh, based on Android 2.3.3 which is the uh, most recent release of Gingerbread uh, and I must say just to me it's sad that T-Mobile and HTC whoever you want to blame could not get Android 2.2 uh, excuse me 2.3.3 pushed out to a phone that runs almost a stock ROM when I hear rumor today that the uh, Motorola Droid X on Verizon Network is receiving it and they have a uh, Moto Blur overlay on it. So, I mean, it's kind of sad that Cyanogen can get his ROM out before they can get the stock ROM out. Uh, it's a testament to how good Cyanogen and his team are. Uh, and it's also a testament to how bad some carriers and some phone suppliers can be. Uh, I mean, I don't want to start a war on the bottom of my video here, so don't, don't flame me, please. It's just a personal opinion. Everybody has their own. But all in all, um, this is going to be my daily driver. It, it, it works really well. I haven't had any forced closes. Uh, it's extremely snappy. It works well. Also, if you were running a uh, stock ROM on this phone previously that was overclocked, you might have noticed sometimes when you turn your lock screen on and off quickly, and you unlock it there was a screen redraw problem that couldn't be fixed as far as I know I tried a few different things and uh, it would take a few seconds for your screen to redraw which annoyed me beyond belief uh, but I wasn't willing to give up my stock ROM to fix it um, it's not a problem here in Cyanogen uh, Mod 7 I have noticed my battery runs slightly warmer than it oops, sorry about that warmer than it used to but I'm also running overclocked by about uh, 0.2 per, or 0.2. I'm running at 1.4 instead of 1.2. So that could be the reason for that. It's not a lot hotter, and it's not anywhere near the dangerous level. My phone gets up to about 107 or 108 just on my car charger, so I'm not worried about you know that. Uh, everything went through fine when I uh, updated. Uh, if you import your stuff in from Titanium. I would not uh, import data in from other ROMs because it can cause problems and then you have people blaming a ROM when it's not the ROM's fault, it's a mistake. I restored apps with data only, not system data. Uh, so I did have to go in and reset up all my screens, which I hate doing, but you know, price to pay for properly working ROMs. Uh, if you do decide to use this ROM, definitely make an Android backup of your current setup. And that way, if you don't like it, you can go back to it if you have any problems. I always say you should do that. And there's also some very neat programs. Uh, let me plug here. You got a SMS Backup and Restore, which will uh, restore your text messages, back them up and restore them. You have a call log program that does the same thing if you want something like your call logs. And, of course, Titanium to back up your programs. So if you want to restore back to your old ROM, it should be easy to get everything back to normal. And also all your you know, 
programs and SMS messages and everything from your old ROM to this ROM. If you know how to use all that stuff properly, it's very nice. Uh, but always make an Android backups. And uh, just a safety tip, I have made an Android backups before and then had my SD card crash. So I like to make an Android backup alone, copy it to my computer, and then download and install the ROM. And that way you have an extra backup just in case because it's horrible to make an Android backup and then your SD card crashes and you no longer have a backup of your previous ROM. Uh, just something to keep in mind, just something from experience. But uh, all in all, very nice ROM. I cannot find a single reason you shouldn't download it and try it and keep it if you like. Uh, it's a definite good everyday driver. I've been running it just about two days now and no problems. Uh, like I said, my original intention was to test it out for a few days and give you guys an overview and then go back to my stock ROM, but that will not be happening. Cyanogen's going to be on this phone and probably or Cyanogen Mod 7 will be on here until 7.1 comes out or uh, possibly until my next phone because <laughs> that's probably not too far off. So I uh, hope this helped out. Uh, if I missed anything, you know, feel free to uh, write some comments below, and I usually answer back pretty quickly if I'm available. So uh, any questions, any comments, feel free. Uh, don't forget to follow me on Twitter. The link will be in the uh, information below the video. Uh, it's Buddha HB at Twitter, by the way. Uh, don't forget to rate and comment on my videos, and uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching.